word, what it means is the logos of God. The logos of God. What did God say? He said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care what their opinions are. There's no way to be saved to get to God except through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You must continue in his word. Jesus said that every individual that is a true disciple He's got to deny his or himself. Mm, mm, mm. That means that we've got to resist some things in our lives. Mm. That means that we can't always go along with a popular opinion, especially if it contradicts what he said in his word. Deny ourselves, take up our cross, as a cross for us to bear. Mm. God is calling us to a standard. And no matter how difficult it is, God is asking us to answer the call, to take the test. I want you to know that the only true way that you're going to know him and the power of his resurrection, you're going to have to experience some suffering. But it's better that we suffer as Christians. Mm -hmm. Because there is a reward from God. So deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow him. Mm. Jesus gives us the ultimate example. Yes. When we see Jesus and he's there <laughs> in the midst of, of the garden. Jesus says, you've got to follow me. Oh. He's there in the garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. He's struggling with his flesh. Difficult decision to make. In times in life, you are going to struggle with decisions. You're going to have a moment of weakness, a moment of indecision, mm. a moment of pain. But what we see is the key to victory. Ultimate submission to the will of God. Jesus did not come one time and say, okay, God. But three different times. Take this bitter cup away from me. All things are possible with you, God. But ultimately, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. It's so important for us today that the will of God be done. Jesus followed the commandments of his Father and now we as the church follow the commandments of Jesus. We must continue in his word. The Bible says that the word of God is quick, is sharp, is powerful, yes. is battered in the sword. <laughs> 
and it pierces, it cuts even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, the material world and the immaterial world. And I want to remind you today, don't be afraid of the enemy in your situation. You've got to speak the word of God because he said his words are spirit and their life. You've got to speak God's word in your situation knowing that there'll be a change. I want you to know that God's word is quick as alive. It's not just something that we are articulating with our lips, but when we speak it, yes. the atmosphere and the atoms around us they confirm what he speaks. That's power in the word of God. Yes. Don't think that you're without help and you're without hope. Speak the word of God to your situation. Mm. Stand still and see his salvation. Yes. Speak God's word. It impacts not only the immaterial world, but the material world that we see around us. Mm soul and spirit, joint and mouth is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. When you're having difficulty figuring out where is this thought coming from? Mm -hmm. Put it on the interrogation with the word of God. Mm -hmm. He can tell you what you're thinking versus what the enemy is telling you. Mm. The word will make all of those things clear. Mm. So today the message is yes. that you must, continue. you must continue. You must continue. You must continue if you're truly going to be the disciple of Jesus Christ. If you're going to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, you can't give up. You can't quit. Mm. You can't throw in the towel. Mm. Steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, knowing today that your labor is not in vain. Mm. In Jesus Christ, mm. amen. Thank you. We worship and adore you. We 